Hello and welcome back to the Midnight Moose channel. We have some more I Rule, the Binding of Isaac, and Plants vs. Zombies. Fan made game. Alright, we're back in the blue room. Loop 5, pretty crazy if you ask me. Can't be a hard mode, but we can beat loop 4. So what's up with that? Let's go back to playing with the book. In my opinion. What do you think? I think that'd be fun. I don't know though. I'm not a fun expert. And anybody would tell you that. Uh, maybe. Probably not. Who knows for sure. Why are we doing the checker pattern? I... That's a great question. Okay. Just need some more chads and we can answer that question. We got a squirt on our side. I can handle uh, whoever that is. Turns out it's Gaper. Bit of a surprise in my opinion, but that's fine. Purple Creep. That's pretty fun. Alright, good job. Do it again. Have another. Actually, this guy's kind of busy. Alright, we'll get you going. We'll get a Harlequin going, I think, with the book. That seemed to be a fun play that I enjoyed all the time. And you're attacking both of those units, so that's great news. Why not have more? Hold on to that. That might be a little too close, but I'll get over it. Rainbow Baby maybe in the back of the uh, checkerboard. Not that there's hands or anything, but you know. Do you mimic the, the psychic? Probably not. But we'll see. If anybody ever shows up. No, those are not tinted, purpley shots, sadly. So that's the bad news there. Alright. Some hearts looking good. Mongo baby. I guess there's no reason not to. But not a huge reason to as well. Let's get we got another book, so let's give that to you. Put a harlequin here. Just for additional backup. I feel like we see Harlequin Baby a lot. It's not a bad thing, but it does show up quite often. On the reverse side, I don't think we see little Steven enough. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Alright, nobody's even coming in that lane, so my bad. But that's fine. Alright, you're watching that lane, you're all watching that lane. I mean, we're pretty good here, but some more Rainbow Babies, I guess, couldn't hurt our uh, team. You know? Oh, that was a pill, I got really confused. It was just the arrow from that item that everybody loves. Evil Charm. Here's an imp, I'll turn him around, and then back the other way. He got confused real quick, and then he understood where he was. Happens to me sometimes, unfortunately. But I get over it. There's a purple champion, that's fine. Speaking about purple, we can make you psychic, so that's good news. Put this here, Never mind. Uh, what's that, something's wrong? Have a great day. Alright, this guy looked real angry, he was just screaming. Do you see that? What's up with that? Alright, loop 5, super easy. Tell all your friends. Loki, I don't know. Why not? We got the book. Did we click our other chomper? We've replenished all of our chompers, so I think that's great news. We can give the chads the shield this time. I think they've earned it. I think they deserve it. I think they're thankful for it. And I think they're thankful for it, so there's really no downsides. And we got the fatty. That's pretty good. I think it charges a little slower than the squirt, so I don't know if we can lay one out every time the arrow appears for the first two arrows. But we'll try. I'll certainly try. I'll try my best. Alright, grab you this. Give you one of those. Harlequin baby. Why not use it immediately? But the fatty is ready, so our best succeeded. That's the good news. Our book could be ready anytime soon. We'll give it to the baby a little lower. That way you can psychic into the top row. Makes the most sense. Initially. Okay, another Harlequin Baby. Every area is now covered. Mongo Baby would mean more coverage. That is true. So we could do that. Maybe we drop this dude here. I don't know. What do you think? Alright, Mongo Baby. The book is nearly charged. I wouldn't say almost, but I would say nearly. Cheaper Mongo Babies, cheaper than Harlequin Baby by a full heart. So that's the good news. Was that a. What are you doing over there? Mongo Baby only. Alright, that's fine. Okay, Fatty, I guess take out your shield quicker if this guy's slapping your face. No offense. 
Harlequin Baby? No, it's Mongo Baby only. We have our book ready. Okay, the Molai Boom falls pretty quickly, not instantly. We do some Loki things, but not sure if that's a good solution. Let's see here, could put him here in Crooked. That way he'll attack uh, those five squares, mostly. And then do that there. He'll attack these five or six, four. I don't know. Hold that. Give this to you. You hold that. All right, everything's going well. We got a uh, Harlequin baby here, believe it or not. Purple pills always good. You can hold on to it. We're not getting quite threatened just yet. One more flag to go. And I guess we're just trying to see how far we can go. I don't know. What's what's everybody's farthest loop they've ever done? Maybe I can break a world record. That'd be fun. Or maybe I could just die. That might be fun too. I don't know. Hold that. Alright. Loki. Who knows for certain. Put a Harlequin baby down. Alright, something's exploding back there, and I really don't know why everybody's overreacting so much. We've got a bunch of masked fools back there, but this guy's going to slap their mask off. And that worked out well. Do we have to trash any of these? Not necessarily. I mean, honestly, we probably could have defeated that whole level with four attacking babies. That's how powerful Harlequin Baby can be. I'll be the first to say it. Side note, I'm probably not the first to say it. Alright, uh, I'm thinking Harlequin Baby. Psychic Baby we haven't taken in a while. If we take Keeper Baby, I just feel like we'll never uh, use it. Then again, it's only six hearts. We collect six hearts all the time. Do we take Keeper Baby? No, we took Freezer Baby. Maybe in the caves. Maybe in the caves. It gets tougher because there's biters. Potential stone poops in the caves as well. There's a varied variety of threats in the cave and I think that's scary what do we have we got a squirt okay there you go Harlequin baby we don't have to place down just yet let's get another Chad rolling and then Harlequin baby okay here we go and it's popping both poops at the same time that's crazy it's crazy efficient it's great news for our efficiency uh, rometer. You take two of those. Let's give you one of these. Chad here. The army of dips moves ever forward. Finally got rid of that one dude. That's the good news. Our book's ready. Should have gave it to this Harlequin baby that now exists. But oh well. A little inefficient booking. Never hurt anybody. This is definitely the wrong spot to put him, but technically it's right. But this place doesn't need any help. They already got two uh, Harlequin Babies, but that's fine. Whatever you're going to do. Is he okay with me? Give me a Harlequin Baby, if you don't mind. We could do a line of Freezer Babies to slow people down. Giving them more time to get Harlequin in the face. Pretty sure that's a verb. These days. Maybe a, a one for one formation. So these top and bottom Freezer Babies don't get eaten one square earlier. Why are we not on fast mode? Sorry about that. Okay. Cube meat exists. I don't think we've laid it down in a while, but it is on the team just in case. Our book's almost ready. And now it is. So that's good. What do we have? We have four flags. We're just starting the first one. I feel like I've been in this level for an hour, but maybe it's just me. Okay. Freezer baby. Certainly... A good baby to freeze. Or just put on the ground. And it can freeze other things. That's pretty good. Alright, you're dead. Thank god. Alright. Gotta take these poops out. I think we can do it. Book nearly charged. Almost. Put this here. We'll see how it goes. Still in fast mode. There's William. He's dead. Sorry about that, William. You can get Psychic Baby going in a 1, 2, 4, 1, minus the 2 formation. It's pretty classic, as you can tell. Hold on to that for me. Let's get a Psychic Baby going. No reason not to. Here's one of these. Take that. 
Okay. We're getting a lot of uh, enemies towards the door, it turns out. That's their main goal. Reach the door. Luckily, we're stopping them every chance we get. Is this good? Perks, pill. I don't mind having a variety of pills on hand. Squirt. Always looking good. Another psychic baby for everyone to enjoy. Alright, and we're trying to break through loop 5. This will be blue room 3. Defeated, in my opinion. And then we'll fight Mega Plum. See how that goes. Alright, all these poops, they're going to be out of here real soon. And there they go. And now William's going to get wasted on the dips. Just kidding, William's already dead. Nothing can stop us. Not even William. Not even Plum. Not even Psychic Baby. Psychic Baby is actually a great friend to have, as you can see here. Which one is this? That's not good. Leave that behind. Um, somebody mentioned it in a comment, so I was curious. Um, would people be interested in seeing Plants vs. Zombies played the real game um, on this channel, obviously? Let me know, if so. Um, maybe Plants vs. Zombies 2? I played through the original when I was, you know, 16 or whatever. But I don't think I ever played 2 officially or ever, so... I could go for that if uh, people are interested. So let me know your thoughts on that, if you'd be so kind. Thank you. Alright, we're gonna roll into uh, Mega Plum. Maybe. See what it does. Or who it is. Okay, it's Mega Plum. Who knew? You know, it's, there's always a chance uh, Loop 5 generates a new boss or something. I don't know. I didn't make the game. Yet. Okay, we're doing pretty good on the Bobby selection, so no problem there. Brother Bobby. Okay, really good there, too. We got two areas we have to cover. Might have a different baby coming, though. Okay. But perfect timing to stop a gaper in its tracks. Alright, another one of these. Everything's covered. As long as these don't get shot to death. And then again, the it does block the gunshot, but often Mega Plum does double up. So if the shield saves this Brother Bobby... Next shot's coming right for that same Bobby, unfortunately. Are you gonna hit the boss from there? Never mind, you're gonna die. Just kidding. I hope. There we go. Are you hitting the boss? Not quite. That's the bad news. Um, I'm just gonna put this right here, because why not at this point? Keeper. That's where Plum likes to stay, so that's where we're putting Keeper. We do have we do have telepathy for dummies. What do you think about that? We gotta stop this thing from Existing. Luckily, we have three shots going at it. Loki and these two. And it's getting pushed back. So it just goes back underground. And now it's poisoned. And now it's nearly dead. So it's Mega Plum, actually. Didn't even get to do the full psychic attack. No gunshot as well. Thanks for the trophy. We have $200, and we don't have to replace any chompers. So I guess we'll clear our other curse. If that's... Nope. They didn't even want to give, they didn't even want to give us that in the shop. Never mind, turns out. Okay, I think we can stick with Harlequin Baby, Rainbow Baby, let me say, uh... Well, Loki, why not, in the book. Unless the stone poops come by the hands in Mines 1, which they might. But, it's a risk we have to take. Here's a cube meat, in case anybody was interested in that. Spoiler alert. Nope. But it could get eaten, and then we could put in a useful unit on the mobile minecart track. One of these days, Left Chad is going to have the the, the minecart. That's going to be fun. He'll be left up here. He'll be left down here. He's going to be left everywhere. Biter's still charging. Never mind. It's fine. Let's get some Chads going while we still can. I'm kind of glad I didn't take Mongo Baby because this cart messes up the Harlequin Mongo Defense Force. It's just the truth. I'm not trying to hate. Put this down. We can book it soon. So I think that'll be cool. This biter's pulling double duty, so no complaints for me, honestly. Could put another one down and hope it hits somebody. If not, we get another one eventually. So, again, no huge issue here. You hold on to that. Thanks for the penny for the shot that doesn't exist. It's extremely helpful. So, are you do fire? 
Because your psychic shot can hit this guy. Yeah, so you do fire and they both go in on the middle. That's crazy. I know we discovered it before, but usually there's a million things. So it's nice to just see it work out like that. Hold on to that. I guess, I guess we just kill you. You don't have to get eaten. Rainbow Baby attacking William. Sounds pretty apt. Goodbye, Rainbow Baby. I mean, goodbye, William. Alright. One of you. Loki. Here and here, I guess. I don't know. Let's see how it goes. Almost, nearly, almost, kind of, have another book charge. So that's pretty fun. There's your Loki's on top. Let me hit the space bar so it goes faster. I knew something was missing from the cocktail of fun that is I roll. Grab these two. Another Harlequin baby in this area makes sense. This could have been a Harlequin baby for all we know, but it's not. So there's that. Hold on to that, which is great. The spider doesn't have anything to do, which is better than having too much to do, so I'm not going to complain in this scenario, which is a rarity for me. I'm just kidding. Just... Of course. Alright, uh, Biter. One of those. Harlequin Baby. Harlequin Baby. Without any hands bringing any poops, I don't foresee a huge issue on this level, even if it is loop 5, because apparently, uh, we're king of the loops here. Nothing really terrible's been happening. Then again, the arc last time was quite challenging, so that could be a huge lie. It's all Harlequin. All the time. Down in the mines, by the way. Do one of those. Rainbow Baby. Why not add Rainbow Baby for fun and enjoyment? Alright, this Knoll's getting basically pulverized, so that's good. Uh, you up there. Rainbow Baby here. We have more flag to deal with, so hopefully we do that with style and grace. Sooner or later. Hold on to that. You go here. Book's almost up. You can do this baby with telepathy. These poops are going to cause a problem. Just kidding, they're already cleared. So we, get any, we didn't get any stone poops from the hands. We just got stone errs. So that's not a huge issue. Uh, do some of this. Alright, you're going to hit some of our harlequin babies, unfortunately. I guess we could protect them. Or... Oh, those guys are already dead. Never mind. Turns out. Who would have thought? Alright. Are there stone... Okay, there's stone errs here. So a similar setup wouldn't be too amiss. Similar. Not the same. Hopefully the cart here doesn't mess with our entire board. This dude here, I don't really know why he's there. No offense. But I'm sure he'll do fine. We've got a hard hat on our side. So that's the good news. The mobile cart. If it was a Harlequin baby, it could hit any square on the board. I think. But we're just focused on Chad's. Left Chad, thanks for doing your part. His hard head takes a while to charge. He's not going to be up in time for this dude. Sadly. So I think we're going to need to steal a heart from a Chad or here. Real quick. Thanks for that. Put you here. And then you know what's after that. All right. Some of these. There's the hard hat. A little too late, but that's fine. Let's get the chads rolling so we create even more hearts for the future. If you were telepathic, you'd be handling that yourself, but you're not yet, as the book is still charging. It takes a while, because it's very powerful. And I agree. With that assessment that I initially made. Anyway. Harlequin baby. You can free fistuloid. That may come in handy at some point in this battle. Let's speed it up. Harlequin baby. Alright. We're doing pretty good. We're getting the hearts. We could do rainbow baby on top and bottom here just to add in that extra shot on those lanes. We could do mongo baby for cheaper there. It's a pretty similar baby than the one behind it generally, if you know what I'm saying. So that's pretty good. Rainbow baby. Alright, no problems. Huge wave is approaching, of course. Why wouldn't it be? We got another book. So that's good. Alright, that gives us enough hearts for a Mongo baby. Grab a penny real quick. Grab some more. Grab a Mongo baby. 
at cost, so that's no problem. That's a lot of cash for the shop that doesn't exist, so no complaints there, other than the shop not existing. Yeah, I'd complain about that, but that's all right. It's not like we needed to buy three cursed items or anything this entire run. It's lasted, in total, like six hours. I don't really know at this point. I don't really know too much, turns out. All right, purple pill. We have a purple pill, so we're keeping our speed up for later. Let's take this, make it a Harlequin, call it a day. Some rainbows on top. Maybe our book's ready to go. Do that there. Hold on to that. Give me a rainbow baby. This looks uh, threatening. Never mind. Everything's fine. Here's three dollars, thanks. Well, three pennies, if you think about it. And sometimes I do think about it. All right, two of those. Keep meat. It's doing nothing. But that's fine. We got two more flags, so this meat might prove useful at some point. Or we can have the meat protecting from the hard hats. I think that'd be an optimal use. I wish it charged faster. If, it, if we had a sharp plug, that'd be nice. That might charge it faster. Get our book rolling on you for no particular reason, but no reason not to either. So. Could lay more babies, but not at the moment. Meet here. Oh, somebody's killing you. What's happening over here? Oh, you guys are attacking the... Oh, okay. It's extremely rude. Rainbow well, baby, we must replenish the rainbow baby supply. And block the shots from the hard hats. Rainbow baby. Grab the hearts. Block the shots. You're a hard hat. We might stick around a while. Yep, that's the good news. I'm gonna drop a Harlequin baby here just to change it up a little bit. I know there's not enough of those these days. Oh, almost got me there. Poison and. Are you gonna. Never mind, you died. Give me a heart, give me a meat. There's a lot of enemies in this row for some reason. It's extremely terrible. But they're not hard hats, so they're all dead. Okay, that was quite the battle, and mine's too. Alright, there's the trophy, so that's pretty good. Alright, roll into mines three, believe it or not. Okay, I still don't see any stone poops, but I don't trust it at this point. Let's break from the Harlequin strat, just for a little bit. We have so many enemies and friends stuck in the boxes and other things in our inventory, I think that's great news. Let's go back to the kidney bean for fun. We haven't used uh, Demon Baby in a while. Let's try it out. Depending on where the... Okay, that's not what I was thinking. Depending on where the card is, though, Demon Baby might have been a good unit. But maybe if it was here or here, that way it was just that much closer to the front. But maybe it's just me. What do we have? we got a Molai Boom. That charges incredibly slowly. So we're not going to be able to use that against the first two enemies. Sadly. That's all right. We'll get a brainworm going. That'll be popping literally all this stuff eventually. So that's no problem. Speed it up. We'll get some hearts. We'll get some chads. It's a rare strategy, but I like it. Little chad, you're popping the poop. Get you here. Help with the poop. And we gotta get that guy. Well, I boom could blow them both up, but I think he might be freed a little too soon. Yeah, there he goes. But the dip has slowed him down, so honestly, never mind, he's dead. There you go. Alright, we're gonna do some brainworm tactics. Pick this up. We could cube meat an area. It'd be mighty defensive of us, so I would never do that. Grab this real quick. Brainworm. One of those? Alright, here's a heart. That's helpful. There's William. He's dead. One more heart and we get our sixth brain worm. And what should we put in here? Freezer baby? And we just shoot it around and douse the Williams? I don't know. Let me get some of the cubes of meat going that we were talking about earlier. Alright, you know what to do. Good job. Another heart. Another meat. This guy's a champion, so we'll freeze him. Why not do this? 
No reason not to. Alright. Get some more defense here. Maybe another demon baby in the middle. We can kill a gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle. Any relation to a gurgling? I don't think so. But maybe. You know what? Take a speed up, Bill. We got one on the ground. We may as well use one for offensive purposes against the enemies in this level. Alright, Chad exists. You can go here. There's a lot of poop on the ground, so we're gonna stop that. Oh, that's a lot of Williams for one Frosty to handle. They almost ate two of those. That would have been terrible news. Hold on to this. Give me one of these. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'll take the beans so you stop blowing my chat up. Thank you. Froze. That's embarrassing. Or exploded or something. I don't really know. Turns out. Alright. Penny's always looking good. This is good. You're dead. What do we got? We got three more flags. That's a lot. I thought we were slow, but we weren't. Who knew? Some more brain worms attacking all the enemies. Sounds good to me. Turn these Williams around. They turn around whether they're purple or blue. So that's the good news. Blow you up because we can. Also affected some other enemies. That's great. Uh, some more brain worms, of course. All right, it's a lot of foes, but they're being defeated by the spikes and shots alike. I'll take all you on my side now, if you don't mind. Here's a William that needs stopping, so he's already dead. The brain worm's going to help in that regard as well. Take this here. We're looking for a couple more hearts on the ground. There's one. That's pretty good. Purple pill. I think that was the same guy I used speed up on earlier. So speed way up, if you think about it. That did look nothing, so that's weird. Let's take all those on our side. Place this meat. Place the, the camp just yet, it turns out. Take one of those. Freeze these. Replace the meat. Bean almost ready. Taking everybody except the stone poop with us. This knoll doing nothing but dying. Embarrassing. And there's one more wave. There's not too much we can place though, so I really don't have too much to spend hearts on. Unless we want to use our cubes further up as well, but then that kind of stops the demon babies from attacking. If they're eating further up cubes. So I think I'll pass on that strategy. Maybe some poison for fun. Everybody loves poison. I know I do. Here, take this. Oh, it was a cube by accident. I thought I was clicking the worm. That's fine. We need a cube here, it turns out. Everything's gonna be a-okay, I assume. Uh, take the poison. We got the beans, so I'll take those gurgles. And that was... quite quick. I'll go ahead and say it. Right, ragdoll loop five. First time we're facing... Loop 5 Ragdoll, does she behave any different than Loop 1 Ragdoll, is my question, because I don't think any of them have, really. What if it was all carts? We'd be screwed. In a bad way. We have two speed ups. Okay. Nothing wrong with this. This is a little outrageous, though, especially, look at that, yeah. That's fine. Alright. You know what to do, Bobby. Nearly nothing. And die. Great job. Okay. Brother Bob. Oh, this is terrible news. We need, uh, we need something. Oh my god, Harlequin Baby, the true savior. Never mind, we used our blue line. But imagine if it shot quicker and it actually killed the flies. Wouldn't that be cool? It poisoned one of them, so it almost had it. But what are you gonna do? Alright, we got Keeper in the middle. What is going on over here? Can you stop? Living? You killed one of your own flies. That's embarrassing. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Alright. I'd say that is even more embarrassing than us using a blue line on a fly. At least that's feasible and or imaginable. Demon Baby is good as dead, sadly, but what are you going to do? Probably could have placed him somewhere better than in between two bobbies, but... Or in front of two bobbies, I should say. Mongo Baby. Alright. We baited him with the cart. Ragdoll almost dead here. 
and those plums are poisoned, so I wouldn't take a bite. There goes Ragdoll. We didn't even lay anybody on the bottom. Whatever. And there's a trophy. We have $6,000 and nothing to buy, so, you know, what are you going to do? I'll, I guess I'll just invest. Uh, but that'll do it for this video, because that's that's another half hour. So loop, uh, loop 5 turns out not a problem. And I'm sure in the next video, I'll regret that. Tune in for that tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time. Leave a like, subscribe, and etc. And farewell.